Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another Oblivion new build. Today we're going over the most overpowered race in the entire game, the Breton. Now why is the Breton overpowered? Well, not only are they a magic-based characters with, or character, which magic-based characters are nice because you start with more magic, but they get a 75, at least to my knowledge that I remember, a 75% resistance to magic. So you're going to be able to tank magic shots out of the gate. They're amazing characters. So if you're a noob to Oblivion, period. But you kind of understand how RPG mechanics work, the Breton's really good. If you're a complete noob, Wood Elf, by far, best noob character in the game. Because it allows you to experiment with bows better, and they're not weak garbage. So when it comes to the Breton, you're going to be a very, very magical character. Another type of battle mage. So with the Breton... You're gonna pick the lady as your symbol. This is gonna give you more endurance. Endurance is the most important attribute in Oblivion period because it gives you more health and everything is based around health in this game. Like, you can't even do combat without health. Like, you can't do like the in and out combat. That's how, that's how bad Oblivion's combat is sometimes. You're gonna pick magic as your specialization and intelligence and willpower for your attributes. So it's kind of like a mix between combat and magic. For your four skills, you're going to do Blunt Heavy Armor, Restoration, and Destruction. So, when you're playing this character, you're going to be a Battle Mage. The reason why you're going to be using Blunt Weapons instead of Bladed Weapons is no reason at all. You might be thinking, what? Well, actually, there is a reason. And I find that when I'm playing Oblivion, okay, Blunt Weapons do a little bit more paralyzed, they're more successful when it comes to paralyzing. Now on the High Elf I picked Blade, and I forgot to explain this in the video, but Blade kind of works better just for noobs. Blunt, if you're using a Breton, it's good to get Blunt done right out of the gate and figure it out, okay, just by far. Now I believe, I'm not entirely sure about this. I believe that the Bretons also have a little bit more on Blunt. I'm not too sure about that. But I think, nah, they don't. They don't. I just put Blunt there because. So if you want to use swords, you can go ahead and use swords. You don't have to use maces. I'd say if you're a noob to this game, start using Blunt weapons first because they are weirder than swords. Swords are the easiest weapons to use. Axes and maces and hammers are a little bit harder. I think if you start on that, it'll become a lot easier. And I think they do a little tiny bit more damage. So that's important for this battle mage. Because you're gonna be able to tank a lot of hits, you're still not gonna have a lot of magic. Which means that you're gonna be forced to use melee weapons more. Especially in the beginning. Maybe not later on if you can kind of take your skills and level them up right. But you're gonna be using basically magic and melee. Melee is your hammer or sword if you wanna use a sword and magic is for range. Now I only did four major skills because as a noob I want you to pick your other three skills and experiment with stuff. Maybe you want to use a mace and a sword. So you take this character, you put blade and blunt in and you figure out which one you like better. Maybe you want to experiment with bows, different classes of magic like illusion or mysticism or conjuration. Maybe you want to try sneak or merchantile so you have more money to buy more potions. You know anything goes with this kind of noob build. But that's kind of it for the Breton. I try to prefer a Battle Mage character, just period, because Battle Mages are overpowered in Oblivion by far. Next to Night Blades. Night Blades are also pretty powerful. But let me know what you think of this build in the comments below. Guys, that's it for this video. Subscribe for more new builds. I'm making videos on all 10 of the characters. They're going in their own playlist too, by the way. So if you see a playlist with 10 videos that says Oblivion new builds, it's all of them. If you want to try a new race, go for it. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games, and I will see you in the next episode, stream, vlog, or Steam it post of whatever I decide to make.